We pray that Allah will accept our khutbah today and our salat, the Juma. Increase us in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Uh, dear believers, we've been doing the khutbah. This is the sixth week from Surah Baqarah, the largest surah in the Quran, the second chapter of Quran. And this is the sixth week, so we've been going through that, inshallah. And last week we was at Ayat 30, and we kind of stayed there where Allah spoke to the angels. We introduced the concept of angels for the first time. Uh, when he said to them, he was making a khalifa. So we looked at the concept of angels. We went through the Quran, chapter 35, Al-Fatir, where Allah said he made angels with wings, two, three, and four, etc. And then he has put an angel on our right and our left. And how Allah told Muhammad the Prophet, so I said, I'm to tell the people that he is not an angel, but he's a mortal just like us. So we, we looked at that ayat. Uh, we had went a little ahead before, but we wanted to show how Allah was introducing this concept. He had talked about the believers and the disbelievers, who's going to be successful, who's not, those who were trying to deceive Allah and the believers, etc. And then he said, before he said that he was going, that he was making a khalifa, and we'll start here, and ayat, and we might have did it last week, 29, showing us one thing too. And Allah said too, we pointed out that he said it, when people were saying to Muhammad, the Prophet said, oh, you're just a mortal like us. You're a human being like us. Why should we be listening to you? If you was a messenger of Allah, you would have an angel with you. And Allah said in Quran, and we pointed this out, where Allah says, if there was a community of angels walking on this earth in peace and quiet, you know, really tranquil. And he used the word mutma'ina, which is the third level of the soul, next to mutma'ina, O soul at rest. If there was a restful angels quietly walking on the earth, then I would send you from the sky an angel as a messenger. But because you're a human being not walking in peace and quiet, I send you a human being like you as a messenger. So we looked at that, but from here as we go forward, we look, we'll go for 29 and we're just going to move through. Well, Allah says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, here in Baqarah. Huwa ladhi khalaqa lakum ma fil ardi jami'a, jami'a, yuma, jami'a, right? Group, together, you see? So he's introducing that concept of group, together, jami'a, juma. Here it is, who created Lakum for you, Matthew Adi Jamia, all that is in the earth together for you. Though Mass, there were in the Samae, Fesewe, Hunna, Sep Asamewati, Wahua, Bikulish, and Aileen. And then he turned his attention to the sky and he leveled it. So where? Seven levels. So there's seven levels of heaven, right? And we heard of Muhammad the Prophet ascending to the seven levels. And then he goes to the angels, but he points to the sky, and then he goes to the angels, which are on a higher level, so to speak, okay? A different level. So now, picking up from Ayat 30 and moving forward, Muhammad the Prophet said this, because we all know the story of the creation of Adam, right? This is where we're going, and we're going to get through this page for those just keeping up. In it. The story of Adam, the creation, we're going to read that. But Muhammad the Prophet, salam, and we have the hadith here, it is reported in book 4, hadith 1856, 1856 page, okay? Abu Harir, reported that the messenger of Allah sallam, said the best day on which the sun has risen is Friday. On it, Adam was created. So you get this in mind, Muhammad the Prophet sallam, said that Adam was created on Friday. So when you read this story in Quran, lock into your mind Friday. And what happens for us on Friday, right? 
So when you read the creation of Adam, know that it's occurring on Yom Ajuma, right? Okay? And he said he was created, and it is, and it, and on it, he was made to enter the paradise, right? Quran tell you he was put in the garden, right? And it says, on it, he was cast out from it, right? That's the story he was tricked by Shaitan and cast out. So you put in your mind, all of this happened on Friday, and the last hour will take place on no other day than Friday, Yom el -Jimant. So when you read the story, now you'll see some connections to what we do. Inshallah. So just know as we move forward here, right? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ayat 30 and we'll move through. When your Lord said to the angels, I am Jairun, not Alikum, Alikum, Kalaka, he created. Jairun, I'm making, there's a difference. Jairun, Phil Adi Khalifa, I'm making in the earth a Khalifa. Now, understand this Allah is completely independent. He didn't have to tell the angels anything, right? He could just make the Khalifa, right? But he said when he said to them, meaning he, he gave the angels some consideration, right? That he was being kind and said, let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do. But the reason he communicated with them is because this Khalifa that I'm going to create, what I'm getting ready to do, is going to impact on you. So anything that we're going to do that's going to impact on the other person, you got to tell them, communicate. And is what Allah is showing us. What I'm getting ready to do is going to impact on you. Meaning what? I'm, now you're an angel praising me. That's all you're doing, right? That's what they said. We're glorifying you, right? We're praising you. So you're going to make one that's going to cause bloodshed? So they was just glorifying Allah. But I'm going to make a creature. And so your responsibility is going to increase. Because one of you is going to be on the right of his shoulder, right? One is going to be on the left. You're not doing that now. There's going to be an angel here, but now you're going to be the angel of death. Your responsibility is not just going to be praising me. You're going to have to come now in many situations, millions of people, and come and take this soul at death and bring it to me. So it's because their responsibility now Angel of Revelation, right? There's going to be angels that's going to come bring Quran and Revelation, Jibril, right? So because it was going to impact on them, Allah says, He presents to them what He's going to do. And to give you a good picture of this, if you go to chapter 37, ayat 102, just so we grasp this, where Ibrahim is with his son, right? And he says to his son, he says, I have seen in a vision that I have to sacrifice you. That should be it. Allah has shown me to sacrifice you. Could have took his son, laid him down and sacrificed him, right? When you read Quran and you read that ayat, we won't go there because we have to keep moving. He didn't do that. He said to his son, what do you think about that? You see, he didn't just do it. He said, he says, what's your view on that? What, what do you consider concerning that? And his son Ishmael said, if that's what Allah is telling you to do, you will find me most patient and most forbearing. So now we get that picture, right? Now Allah addressing the angels, and he said what he's going to do, because it's going to impact on them, right? They glorify him. That's all they know. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Right? And this is how they respond. Kalu, they kalu, tach elu fi ha, min yusi do fi ha, wa yes fi ku What are you going to make? One that's going to cause bloodshed, going to cause mischief and bloodshed in the earth, right? And they said, well, not new. Nusembihu bihemdike wa nukundisulake. 
when we've been gone, find you, subhanAllah, right? Alhamdulillah, bihamdikah, praising you. Nukandisu, your holiness, right? So this is what we've been doing. So what are you going to make somebody that's going to cause blood? Now, they're limited in knowledge. So Allah says this. Call that, the Quran says, call that. Allah says, inni atlamu ma la ta'lamu. He said, he said, I know what you don't know. I can appreciate your response. I'm introducing this to you, but I know what you don't know. So he's not angry at them. And then after that, Allah says, وَأَلَّمَا آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Then Allah taught, taught Adam on Friday. Keep this in mind. This is Friday. He taught Adam the names of everything in creation, right? The name of the tree, the name of the snake, the name of the cow, the name of the sun, the name of the moon, right? The, 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 the name of the fish. He taught Adam all of that. All of the names of everything. Right? The elephants. The donkey. Names of everything. The stars. And that's what it says. Taught him the names of everything. Now, once he taught them the names of the elephants, the cows, the bees... The stars, the moon, everything, right? After he taught Adam, then he took those same objects, zoom at then, right? Then he took those same things, the star, moon, and put them in front of the angels. And said to the angels, now you tell me their name. Now he taught Adam, he taught Adam. Now mind you, that's Friday. He gave Adam a good body. He taught Adam on Friday. But then he brought it to the angels. Remember, he told them, I know what you don't know. And when he presented it to them, look what Allah said. He laid it in front of them. He says, Fekola and Bioni, Bi Esmai. He said, now you inform me of their names. You now you tell me the names of these things if you are sadaka, if you're truthful, if you're solid, standing firm, right? Now you tell me the names of these things. All of they said, Subhanak. Glory be to you. They said, glory be to you, we have no knowledge except what you have given to us. For you are the all-knowing, the all-wise. See how angels respond? Now mind you, this is on Friday. Human beings being taught by Allah, but also angels. And Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu say on Friday, this Juma, right? He said when you come to the Juma, there's angels here. On Friday, just like here. They're at the door, right? Taking attendance. But it say when the Kutba, when the teaching starts, they come, sit down, and be taught. By who? By the human being. And that's what happened here. Watch and see. Then after that, Allah says this. Listen carefully. After the angel said, we don't have but what you taught us. Listen to what Allah says. Call that, he said, Allah said. Yeah, Adam, hey Adam. And with whom be as Hey Adam, teach the angels all of the names. On Friday, you got it? So the angels are here, but he's showing them this human superiority higher than the angels already. Because he teaches Adam. Then he tells Adam, now you inform the angels. And Muhammad the prophet said on Friday, the angels are here. But they're not giving the kutbah. The human being is giving the kutbah. So 
So this is on Friday. When you read this story, just know this is occurring on Friday. And you're seeing the similarities of Juma being established early. Because in Juma, what do we do? We make sajda, right? We prostate. And Allah said, Muhammad the Prophet Sallallahu say it is on this day that he was created, the best day. And it's on this day that he will be raised up again. And it is on this day, Allah tells us in Quran, that you will stand up in a group before Allah, right? Y'all Maliki Yama, they all will stand on that day, just like we do in Juma. And they all bow on that day, just like we do in Juma. So we uh, move on because what we're doing, and then when Allah taught Adam, told him, gave him the assignment immediately. Here he's creating him early and gives him an assignment of education immediately. But, he's, but he uses this word. He, say, he, he says, Elamah, he taught Adam. Ill knowledge, he's teaching. But here he says, and he said it to the angels too, em, em, be, whom? He doesn't say teach them. Allah is the teacher. He says inform them. Nebiah. This is Nebiah. Nebiah. And that's what prophet. A prophet. A ketaman Nebiah. Right? It's one who informs you. Prophesies but informs you. So he said I taught you. Now you inform them of what I taught you. So the imam on Friday. He has to go from Quran and inform you of what's in Quran. So he don't think he's the master teacher, right? Go on an ego trip. Y'all ain't teaching, you're reminding people of what's in the book. You're just telling them what's in the book. You're, inform you're studying and you're informing them of what Allah is giving you, inshallah. Of what Allah says, you see? So Allah, the word changed it. So inform them, Adam. <laughs> and the proof of it is the angel says Alimum, Alimum he's the all knowing so he's the one that gives the ill the knowledge ok it says and after Adam informed them of all the names after Adam did this the Quran says Allah said Allah says, now, didn't I tell you, angels, that I know the gaib, the unseen, which this starts out with, right? Believe in the unseen. That I know the unseen that's in the heavens and in the earth. Allah knows it all. What is hidden? And I know what you make known and what you keep hidden. Didn't I tell you that? You question about this creation. That's okay. But don't worry about it because I know the unseen. I know where he's going. Yeah, he's going to cause bloodshed and mischief. You kind of got that right. But I know the end road. I know what's known and I know what's hidden. This is Barker. This is compact, right? We're going to get through this. Now, after this teaching takes place, right? The information exchange. Just like Juma, right? Now, what does Allah say? If Kuna Lil Ikatis Juduli now he says, now make sajda after the teaching, the knowledge expressed, right? Now he said to the angels, make sajda to Adam. Make sajda to Adam. Another concept of sajda, right? Now we hear the first time what sajda. And for your studies, if you see the word sajda here, there's a sura called sajda. So this should lead you later to that sort of sajda. There's a sort of called sajda. The, the, the chapter number escapes me right now. Might be 32 or something. But there's a chapter called sajda. So he's introducing the concept of sajda. And more, now what is this sajda? Muhammad the Prophet he says in the sajda, oh this is 
powerful. This is the beauty of our religion. This is what brought the world out of darkness into light. Muhammad the Prophet saw Islam and he told the angels to make sajda, right? Muhammad the Prophet saw Islam said, in sajda, he say seven bones go down. Seven bones. Say the toes, right? The right toe, the left, the right knee, then the left knee, that's four, right? The right hand, that's five. The left hand, that's six. And the forehead, that's seven. Muhammad the Prophet said seven bones go down. And sajda. So now we're getting the concept. So, but Allah just told us, before we got to this, that he made seven levels, right? And Muhammad the Prophet went to seven levels. So you picture angels in seven levels. And they're touching seven points. This is what, this is what says it. Well, Muhammad the Prophet says, so I'm telling us, this is what happened. Now if you go to chapter seven, since we're in seven, you will get this story again. You see? And as we know, Muhammad the Prophet went to seven levels. Now before we get to all of this, this is Quran. He connected. Before we get to Bakr and all of this, right? What do we read before that? El Fatiha. Which consists of seven verses. So the book opens up with seven verses. Opening you up if you understand to Quran, a heavenly state, brother. It's opening us up to seven levels, man. So the, the book begins with seven verses. Seven keys, seven opening, and then it brings us into Bakura. You can't get into Bakura unless the door is open. You gotta go through El Fatiha, right? The first chapter. And to show its importance, you have to say El Fatiha in every salat. Period. Period. Show you how important it is. They get in. That's the opening. So you gotta break the seven locks to get in to Bakura. And then Allah say, if you break those seven locks, he tell you that he created seven levels of heaven. And then after that, he tells you he created Adam on Friday, this day. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So when he told the angels to make sense, this is deep. Because Muhammad the Prophet, you see, that's why Muhammad the Prophet said, so I'm saying, I'll leave you two things, right? The Quran and my life example. If you follow that, you never go astray. So after he told them to make sajda, he said, he said this, if kunel lil malai kattis judu li adama fasan jadu illa iblisa abba wa stakbara kana min al kafirin it said all of the angels show they wasn't bucking and he said make sajda they all went into sajda except Iblis there was a jinn Allah tells me he's a jinn among them so all of the angels made sajda except Iblis and, he, and Allah said Ebed he refused what's takbara yeah akbar what's takbara and he thought he was bigger than what he was. He thought he was great. You know? And Allah asked him in another place, Why do you make such as I commanded you to? He says, And at Kairum Menhu, I'm better than him. That's why. End of the conversation. I'm better than him. Kalak Min Nauri. You created me from fire. Kalak Tehu Mintin. And you created him from mud. So all of the angels made such that after this teaching, right? Except Iblis. He was of the rejectors. And as we know, in Quran, another place Allah say after that, he came and he deceived our father Adam, right? But just going right through now to Ayat, uh, Ayat 35, yes. So after that, Allah says, Kuna ya Adamus kun ente wa zawjukal jannata. And then he said, he said, Allah said to Adam and his 
his wife is out. He says, Uskun, Sakina, Sakina, dwell, uh, Sakina is tranquil. Tranquil, very, very tranquil and peaceful. So you and your wife should be tranquil and peaceful. He said, dwell peacefully in the garden. You and your wife, Adam. And he says, and eat when and where you please. But then he says, well, there, no. He said, but don't Karib is like relative. He said, don't come near. Don't even come near this tree. Particular tree, right? Don't even go near it. Because if you do, you're going to be of the oppressors. You're gonna, it's going to lead you into darkness and oppression, pressure. Unnecessary pressure. Stay away from that tree. Right? But they're young and innocent. Now, if Belize, who is the, who's degenerating now, he's in the garden too. Now, understand this word. He was a jinn created of smokeless fire. And you'll read it later. Jinn. Get the word. Jinn. And we're trying to get to what? Jinnah. You see? Jin. Jinnah. If you look it up, they come from the same root. The jim and two nouns, right? Or the J and two ends. Jin. Jinnah. Because he's a, it's letting you know that the jin is in the, that's the connect. He was in the garden at the beginning as well. Jin. Jinnah. Right? And he's in the garden. Okay? Jinnah. Because he was all right until all this happened. Oh, what's the new leader came? He could not handle it. Once the Lord said, I'm going to make somebody else. You and you in charge. Now I'm going to make something else. This is a beautiful situation. He's the leader. Everything fine. Once the Lord say, I'm making another one. You didn't hear nothing about him. He taught him. You didn't hear nothing about him. When the Lord said, make such and tell him, oh, yeah, no, nah, I don't do that, man. I'll let you teach him. You create all that, man. But I ain't, I ain't down there and helping that joke. I mean, he just got here. Plain language. <laughs> Listen now. After that happens. <laughs> Both of them. That man means two. So we're going through this. 
that's the last ayat on this page. Ayat 27, 37. And Allah says, after they slipped, after they slipped, made a mistake, it says, then Adam, and we talked about that before, Kalimah, the Kalimah, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. He meant words from his Lord. Allah sent them words. And Adam meant words from his Lord. And he repented. I'm sorry for what I did. And Allah accept his repentance. So important to repent. Allah accept his repentance. That he recognized he had a curses. He was educated by Allah. Good heart was slipped by shaitan, pulled the fast one on him. He was more experienced, they inexperienced. But when he saw the light, he didn't say, I'm staying this way here. He didn't say, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that. It was all right, I was young. He didn't make excuses. He, he, he made tawbah, he repented. And Allah accepted his repentance. For Allah is the Rabbul Rahim. He is the one who accepts our repentance and he is most, most merciful know that of Allah because we slip and make mistakes right so you repent to Allah knowing that he will accept our repentance because he's most merciful sadaqallahu alayhim rabbana atina fi dunya hasnatain wa fi akhirati hasnatain wa kina adha banna alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen And just to remind us, we're going through this whole surah, inshallah, Baqarah. So that's our series. This should be the sixth day. So we're still in Baqarah. That was Ayat uh, 37. Now, just before we end, we're still going through. Now we go to Ayat 38. Just follow along. It's Quran. Kunnah. Kunnah be to minha jami'ah. Remember this is Friday. Jami'ah. So he said, get ye down from here all together. All together. Go down. Just like we do from Kiam. You had a picture of this. You were standing up, right? He said, get ye down from here. Allah says in another place, fall down and make sajda. Fall you down to him and make sajda. He didn't say make sajda. Get ye down from this state. But those who follow the guidance, don't fear, no greed. But those who 
today. And then it changes and we'll close. Just to prep you, we're here, we stopped at 39. And to show you how Quran changed and we said, now it goes into the children of Israel, which would be a different. Yeah, Bani Israel, O children of Israel. Yeah, Bani Israel, Vikuru Nikmatilati and Amtu Alaikum. Wa al Fubah Bi Ahdi Ufi Bi Ahdi Bi Ahdi Kum. Wa Iyaya Farahaboon. And all children of Israel, remember my favor unto you. That the children of Israel, Allah blessed them through Moses, through others. He bestowed, he said, remember my favors on you. And that I favored you over others. And remember the covenant that we took. That you took and hold to the covenant. Says, Aminu, be my enzel to Musandi can lima bakun wala te kunu elwala ke firibi hi wala testa rubi a yeti. Then manakalil and wa iye ye fetteku. And we close there with this. Allah says to the children of Israel and us through this message believe in what has been sent down to you confirming what was sent down to you Quran, believe in Quran confirming what was given to you of the Torah and of the angel believe in Quran children of Israel and do not be the first of the rejectors. La awa, awa is first. Awa la kafiri bihi. Don't be the first to reject this message. Nor, nor purchase or sell my signs for some small little price. Don't sell my knowledge for some small little price. He says, wa iya ya fateku. But have taqwa. And do not cover falsehood, cover truth with falsehood. Nor hide the truth when you know what it is. And establish the salat and give in zakat. That's what he told the children of Israel. And that nothing to get you inherently problem with Jews. That's politics out there. That's from America and Britain. After World War II and the Holocaust, finding a place for European Jews. And instead of finding a place there, they come to Palestine, where Jews, Muslims, and Christians are already living in peace. That's politics. That's something different. And force them. That's different. But Quran and Islam is not inherently against nobody religion. Allah says, I favor them. And told them to make salat and give them zakat and bow with those that bow. And you will be rewarded just like everybody else. But notice other thing is politics and corruption and oil and money. But Quran don't condemn nobody for their religion. Allah showed you he favored them. Then he favored the Christians. Then it was given to the Muslims. And if the Muslims mess it up, they'll take it from them and give it to another people. And we know Muslims ain't necessarily doing what Muhammad the prophet told us to do. I don't have to say nothing, just look at the world. But you good brothers and sisters who love this day, who striving to be right, Allah will give it to you. Because that's what it's all about. It's not about color, race, or location, or money. It's about what's here. Rock that act and have you doing your house in the tank, right there, accurate, house in the tank, what you never have been, no, I don't really like that, but I mean, comma, sir.